All right, everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This time, we're going to the moon. We're not going to land on the moon. We're going to fly by the moon. And if I do this right, we'll have a free return trajectory. We'll be able to land our probe back on the surface and gather all that sweet science without losing things because we had to transmit it. Now, unfortunately, we haven't unlocked fairings yet, so this is going to be a bit of a rough launch, especially because there is no stability assist on this probe. Now, I would usually do this with Kerbals, but because I'm not sure if this is actually going to make it there and back, I would rather lose a probe than a Kerbal, so uh, let's launch this. Alright, so I have limited the thrust on the solid rocket booster receiver, so they're going to burn for a lot longer at lower thrust and hopefully not fly this thing apart because there's no no fairing on this which means this is going to be subject to the full force of all the aerodynamics which includes the two Mr. Goos up here the two uh, parachutes and also the solar panels and batteries so hopefully we can do this and once again no operational SAS modules and no pilots aboard cannot engage SAS Let's hope we make it. Let's see. Alright, not too bad. Alright, and throttle back the uh, liquid fuel engine now since we don't really need the thrust from it. But we do need the thrust vectoring from that and the winglets. So I'm going to slowly begin our tilt eastwards. But because the game is still the game, it, it does want to bring us west for some reason. I'll never understand that. But we're going pretty much straight up. We're accelerating at a decent rate. We're not going too fast. We're not gonna not gonna burn up. We are, however, not going exactly where we want to go. Again, this is why we're using an unmanned ship. Bring this up. And try desperately to put us on that 90 degree marker that way. We're out of the lower atmosphere, more or less. Now we can just keep that on there. If you guys can tell that I'm looking downwards, I'm flying by nav ball. I'm not looking at the ship. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is never good. But also, these are about to burn out. And throttle this up. I now have much better control. I just whoops. Ugh. Again, without stability assist, this is very, very hard to fly. So, all right, we've recovered. We're uh, not doing as well as we should be doing, but we're making good time, I guess. So we're lined up. All right, we're lined up in the prograde vector. Not too bad. We we did we did use uh, a lot of our delta V there, just kind of correcting the fuck up. But all right, we've made a recovery. We are almost definitely escaping the atmosphere, which is a big step towards there, but. Like, as soon as we escape the atmosphere, we should have enough Delta V to do a, a transmooner injection. But yeah, th I think we can do this. We might actually get to orbit on this stage. Like, the goal was to use the, the upper stage, of course, to f circularize. But even even with this uh, really, really wobbly rough launch, we, we're doing pretty well. Alright, let's uh, try to keep that on track. So we want as close to an equatorial orbit as possible. Because the moon orbits uh, Kerbin, at least in this game, on the equator. In real life, the moon doesn't. It's inclined quite a bit. Uh, much like Minmus, which is the second moon of Kerbin, which we'll go, we'll go to later when I'm way more awake and coherent and better at things. I'm going to let this burn out, give us a good parking orbit around 120,000 meters. Alright, 
So that's burned out. Managed to eject that. Can't quite stabilize, so I'm going to not quite cheat. Just sort of use uh use time warp to stabilize our spin. Once we're on the prograde vector there. Alright, so uh, I haven't upgraded the tracking station yet, so I can't quite do uh what's it called? Uh maneuver nodes. But I can wait until we're there at the apoapsis. Or at least close enough. And I could start the burn. And vector the thrust just enough to get us on there. And move up to full thrust. Now what I could do is just spin stabilize this. But I don't have the uh, rotational power. I don't have the re reaction wheels to do so. I'm, I'm just doing this the, the fun way, the hard way. So this should circularize pretty much around. Uh, there we go. Yet again with the uh, the very very weak reaction wheels. Actually, do I even? Ha no, I don't have reaction wheels. I just once again have to wait. So uh, since we're doing this without maneuver nodes, I'm going to do this the old school way which is I'm gonna go around for another orbit and I'm just gonna burn prograde once the moon is coming over the horizon like I, I can right-click but I can't even set his target so this is basically do going to the moon in hard mode like early alpha days like we're even inclined to the orbit so gonna zoom in wait till we're about here. I'm just going to orient this ship with minimal thrust. Kind of screwing with my orbit a bit, but I need to burn in order to turn. And then just... Whoops. Come on, come on, come on. Wasting fuel, wasting fuel. I want to get this angled down just enough to do this. Alright, so we'll uh, we'll do it this way. We'll go into map mode. I will be watching both the nav ball and the map. Hopefully we'll bring this around so that we get some sort of intercept with the moon. Worst case scenario, we could always transmit the science data back. In retrospect, I should have upgraded the tracking center, but that would have made the game easy <laughs> and way, way, way less interesting to watch me, squ you know, not squirm while doing this. Oh shit! I am drifting. I do not want to drift. This is not a racing game. This game about precision and explosions. All right, so now I'm gonna. Slowly adjust. Like, I'm not sure if this orbit's even going to cross the path of the moon because it doesn't even have patched conics. Alright, so what I'm going to do here for the first time in this series, I'm going to quick save. And then I'm just going to. I'm going to time warp and hope for the best. Is this going to work? Come on. Come on. Do I have it? Do I have it? Yes, I do. Ooh, I'm on a collision course. I want to burn radially. But in order to do that, i got to fire up the engine a little. Uh, is this the direction I want to go? Yes, it is. Good, good, good. I have an encounter. Anything else with this? <laughs> I can deal with afterwards. Uh, I'm going to be coming back. Ooh. Now, hopefully, I'm set up for somewhat of a free return. If I'm not, I'll just have to do another orbit, do a uh, retrograde burn at apoapsis. But since I'm high above the moon, time to start doing science. 
in this horribly out of control spacecraft. So we got 20 signs for being high over the moon. Uh, do materials bay high over the moon? That'll give us another 50. Can we do a temperature scan? Yes, we can for 16 science. All right. So now we're gonna wait until we're low over the moon. So let's just warp ahead. All right. Are we still low? Are we still low, or did we overshoot? Did we overshoot? I hope we didn't overshoot. No, we're near. Good. That's nah, comma. We're near. Not nowhere near. All right. Actually. I'm going to reset the materials day bay and redo this. Yes, that is more science. Yes, I wanted more science. All right, so uh, our flyby is done. Let's see where our trajectory is taking us. It's going to be really, really odd orbit. But I think we have enough. All right, it's not quite escape velocity, but uh, we can totally recover this. It's flung us out pretty far. So once we get out here, all we gotta do is just slow down. It's you know gonna be like a two week long mission, maybe maybe longer. Probably closer to three weeks. But Alright, we're we're about there. We're you know, a little far out, but let's fire up the engine. Let's uh point towards here. Let's try to drop the periapsis to about 35 kilometers. Maybe a little lower. Alright, I'm drifting too much with this. Why am I so... Why am I spinning so much? It might be that tiny antenna that I have is just throwing off my center of mass enough to induce spin whenever I do a burn. So, let's bring it here. Alright, 21, that, that seems to be okay. So, now that I'm in very high carbon orbit, let's see if I can grab one of these thermometers. Come on. Log temperature. Yes, I got science. Measuring the temperature of space appears to be quite impossible, as there is no matter around to be either hot or cold, except the spacecraft and the thermometer itself. This is probably going to give the RNG guys something to think about for a while. Alright, so now all we've really got to do is wait until we're close enough to the planet, and then right before we re-enter the atmosphere, I'm going to fire up the engine, bleed off as much speed as possible, and hopefully not explode in the atmosphere. And hopefully not get flung out by the moon. <sighs> nice, we've missed it. I'm gonna slow that down. So I do not want to have to skip through this. I just want to come in for a nice, gentle, fiery, compressed gas re-entry. All right, that looks like it's going pretty good. I have a uh, can bleed off a lot of the speed now, so I'm going to. Nope, that's going to be a little too hot for a reentry. So I'm try can I? No, 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 that's the wrong way. What do I want to do? I want to do a burn around there. Yes, because I want to go radially. I want to bring up my periapsis while also bleeding off orbital velocity. Get that around 30. Just keep it even. You know what? That's close enough. We are spinning horribly, horribly out of control. I'm just gonna time warp ahead. Hopefully with this we can get a new probe core where we have some bit of control over this. So, uh, we're in the uppermost part of the atmosphere. I am going to turn this around. I'm going to face this this way. Try my damnedest to stabilize it. Keep on this retrograde marker. 
bleed off as much speed as possible. Try not to induce any rotation. I can't even spin stabilize this if I wanted to. I'm trying to use the roll function, but it doesn't want to work. Alright. I'm going to cut the engine, jettison this, and let aerodynamics take over. A nice re-entry into the sunrise. Hopefully not blow up. I have two parachutes. Hopefully they're shielded by this. Hopefully the landing legs won't be destroyed, even though it looks like we are landing over water. Uh, where are we coming down? Yep, coming down in the ocean. Alright. So what's heating up? The goo. The goo is heating up. I do not want the goo to heat up want the goo to stay relatively stable because there is some precious science in there what do we got in there review data got 30 science in each of them that's 60 science that's a whole lot of tech tree we can unlock with this thing we did a nice <laughs> sloppy as hell flyby of the moon and I'd, I'd really like to keep the science and no I'm not about to cry about to have to pee, but I'm not about to cry. Alright, that's heating up way too much. I probably should have put these inside a, uh, inside some sort of cargo bay. This is nerve-wracking. I don't, I don't want to use the physics time warp because I don't know if it's going to affect it at all. Actually, I can kill the orbit. Thing. Let's let's watch this. Just we're going <laughs> four and a half times the speed of sound. Once once we're around Mach one, I'll be happy. Now it's the the Mach number is the fourth thing here. It's uh about three times the speed of sound. You know what? We made it. We didn't burn up. We got a little bit of overheating. Nothing nothing damaging. They're still <laughs> glowing a bit red. But uh I feel safe enough to turn on the physics warp and just bring us low. And now we're just dropping. Dropping through the atmosphere for a nice safe landing. Maybe next time we'll uh actually first things first we gotta see what we unlock in the science building or the research and development. Alright, we're under 2 kilometers, about 1.5. We're going to throw the chutes. Put out landing legs, because why the hell not? And then gently dip down into the water, and hope to hell it doesn't bug out and explode. That's one of the most stressful things I've done in KSP recently. And now in silence we sit and wait. As I put one too many parachutes on this. And it's going to take fucking forever for this thing to land. Like at this point I just have to kill a minute of just staring at the camera. Waiting for a splashdown. Like I kind of wish we landed near the mountains. Or I wish I waited another three seconds to deploy the chutes. So that I wouldn't have to stand here. Well, I'm not even standing. Sit here and stare awkwardly into the camera. I mean, like, when I do KSP and, like, I have, like, a long wait like this, I usually just fire up Hearthstone <laughs> and lose. Uh, Alright, we're under 100 meters. I can kill the time warp. We can safely splash down in the water. Hopefully cool down these tanks. Not lose anything, cause if I lose anything, I'm going to be really, really sad. Hey, we did it. Can I recover? Can I recover? Can I recover? I can recover. We did it. Now we're going to exercise because we flew by the moon. My headphone cables looped around something. 229 science altogether. Ah, oh, that is nice. 10,000 funds back. Alright, let's see what we got in the R&D building. We, what can we do? Hmm. 
We could go for heavier rocketry, but we wouldn't have the fuel tanks. Let's clear out this tier first. Should we clear out this tier? Yeah, the next ship we build, we'll do a manned mission, and we'll do some uh, EVAs low over the moon. That'll give us a lot of science to work with. And also, we could try flying jets. Now I can build jets. I just can't build space planes. Oh, we got one more, one more tier we can unlock. We have 90 science. What do we want? Do we want the barometer, which is us useful more or less only at Kerbin. Uh, do we want the stabilizer? Do we want landing legs and bigger heat shields? Or do we want fairings? Now, fairings would be useful if we had better... Ooh, that's what we want next. That is mostly what we want. We want another layer of... Uh, well, not layer. We want another... Oh! We just un... Don't tell me I had this the whole time. That would have made flying this thing so much easier. Alright, next thing we're doing is uh, aerodynamics. We're getting the fairings. And I'll see you guys next time.